She was striking like a Viking in the night. Held herself together in the heat of the fight. Took me prisoner, captive till the morning light. When I woke, she was nowhere inside. But it's not good luck. I don't believe in good luck. And it ain't no miracle. We recorded Good Luck and True Love at a studio right here in Austin. It's a great, funky old place built in an old farmhouse. Starting our own record label is something we've wanted to do for a long time, and you know, after producing our last few records, we felt comfortable and confident going into it that you know, it was something that we could pull off. Having our own management company now, in a lot of ways, we've just come full circle because in the early days, we were booking the shows, uh, promoting the shows. That's always come instinctually to us. She was helpless. And skill with the blade, train whistle blowing as I pulled her away. I think the biggest challenge for me making this album was the actual writing process. Kind of a treasure hunt more than I was writing, just finding all the best stuff and putting them together. A ton of ideas scattered all over the place in various notebooks and scraps of paper and demo tapes. We played everything on the record. You know, we made a rule early on going into it that if you couldn't play it, it wasn't going on the record. Everything on there was done by somebody in Reckless Kelly. And it kind of sounds like us just sitting in a room playing together. It was a fun concept. It was really just the band. And to have that, you know, where it's, it's just like on stage, there's nobody else there to, to shine anything. It's, it's what it is. Being in the studio and working on capturing that is just an amazing process. 